why you would turn down a McKinsey offer, especially in times when McKinsey is getting even more selective and the number of interviews are reduced and uh, the competition within the interview days is increased significantly. What many people do not see or understand or don't want to listen to is that what we have built with the MVP offer machine is not purely a coaching program to maximize your chances to break into McKinsey, BCG and Bain, but which is essentially helping you to be ready for the future requirements of a top career. That means understanding what is required to perform on sea level from a strategic perspective, from a problem solving perspective, what is required to perform in senior strategy roles, and also for sure what is required uh, to perform in senior consulting roles. And what is part of these discussions is also if this is at all a suitable career path for you, because we had situations in which people received at least one MBB offer, sometimes even more, and we're not sure if they really want to take this. And why? Because they had also other things to do with their lives. They were not sure if this is really a fit for what they were looking for. And this then opens up a conversation about what does career mean for you and your overall life? And how should your career develop? And then also reflecting up on is an MBB, McKinsey, BCG and Bain, really the best stage of your career to accelerate the trajectory that you would like to be on. Because if you want to do something completely different where an MBB and the relevant experiences within an MBB would not help you, then it is also not a very good idea to join an MBB, no matter if you have received an offer or not, right? So it's important to see this holistically. And things like this can also change. We always ask people that are reaching out to us, is this a clear priority for you to work for an MVP? It's kind of a precondition to even um, get coached by us, right? Because we know exactly if this is not a priority, the a vast majority of people is not going to make it, right? Because it requires a lot of dedication and also legwork to, to manage and to, to get it done. Um, so, but things like this can also change on the way, right? So if you have worked on case interviews, on behavioral interviews, on specific characteristics that are necessary to master if you want to work for an MBB and you have realized on the way, hmm, maybe this is not how I want to spend my time, then this is a different discussion, right? And it is totally fine to turn down an opportunity like McKinsey if you are clear on why you are doing this, no matter if there at the moment is whatever economic downturn and um, the, these companies are getting more selective in the intake. I mean, this, this, is, this might be all like some, some noise at the side, but the core decision and the core criteria against which you will need to decide is, is this helping you for your long-term career aspiration? Yes or no? And the long-term career aspirations are directly connected, related to what you want to do with your life and what kind of value do you assign to a top career in it. And these are also questions that now and then needs to be considered. And it is important to be reflective up on this.